वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ पी एन सी और पर्मिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन एंड दिस इज बाय फॉर माई फेवरेट चैप्टर इन मैथ आई कॉन्ट वे टू टॉक अबाउट इट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर वी गो फर्स्ट वी मूव स्लो सो इन दिस वीडियो यूल सी अ प्रॉब्लम एंड यू स्क्रैच यर हेड थिंकिंग वाई आर वी इवन डूइंग दिस बट ट्रस्ट मी ऑन दिस वन लेट्स मूव स्लो बिफोर वी मूव रियली रियली फास्ट लेट्स डू दैट लेट्स से यू वुड गो फ्रॉम योर होम टू योर स्कूल एंड यू हैव अ फ्यू ऑप्शन लेट्स से यू हैव अ बस यू हैव योर कार you have your bicycle and you can walk from your home to a school these are your four options so how many ways to go from home to school well i just told you there are four options and four also jumps to your mind because you can see four things in front of you let's break this down let's move really really slow here what are we really doing we are saying that we want to do a job our job is to go from home to school and there are many different ways to finish this job the first one is we can take the bus or we can take the car or we can take the bicycle or we can just walk notice the word that i'm using i'm using the word or i can take the bus or i can take the car or i can take the bicycle or i can walk this or is a very powerful word it's giving us another option to finish this job we can pick any one of them this is what this or is saying so there's one way to use the bus there's one way to take the car there's one way to take the bike and there's one way to walk So one plus one plus one plus one is four. In fact, this or is giving us the plus sign. So one plus one plus one plus one is actually four. So we do have four ways to go from home to school. And because we have gotten too good at these very simple problems, we don't even realize that this is what's happening inside our mind. We are adding these options up. Here's another one. From your home to school, these are your options. This time you have these three buses: one, two, and three, and they're very different buses. And let's say just imagine that you have two cars why not uh you have this orange car and you have and you have this white car and you have a bike and you can walk to your school as well same question how many ways to go from home to school okay and if seven jumps to your mind you will be absolutely right but let's see what's happening let's see how we can finish this job of going from home to school we can take the bus or we can take the car or we can take the bike or we can walk how many buses well we have three buses How many cars? Well, we have two cars. How many bike? Well, one, and we'll also put a one here. So, how many total options? Three or two or one or one, which means three plus two plus one plus one. So, three plus two is five plus one six plus one seven. So, yes, there are seven ways to go from home to school. But you don't want to stay at school. You would want to come back home. So, in the next scenario, you also want to come back home. So, you go to school, but you also come back. And these are your options. When you're going to school, you can take the bus, you can take the car, or you can walk. The weather is good. You've had your breakfast. You can walk. But when you're coming back, you're too tired and you don't want to walk. There are only two options: you can take the bus or you can take the car. So, how many total ways to finish the round trip? The round trip means you go to school and you come back home. Think about it. So, what we're doing is we're going to school and we're coming back. And if you thought that because there are five things on the screen, the answer is five, I'd say think again. The correct answer is six. There are six ways to finish this job. Let me show you all six of them. From your home to school, you can take the bus, and when you're coming back, you can take the bus again. This is one option to finish the round trip, or you can take the bus while going, but you can take the car when you're coming back. Now you can take the car and come back by bus. Don't ask me what happened to the car. This is math. We're not being too logical here. We can take the car to school and come back by car. or we can just walk to school and come back by bus or we can walk and come back by car so 1 2 3 4 5 6 different ways to finish the round trip this is what's happening when we're going to school we can take the bus or we can take the car or we can walk when we're coming back we can take the car or we can take the bus but we have to go to the school and we have to come back we can't just go to the school and stay there forever and this word and is our second magical word while or gives us the plus sign and gives us the multiply sign let's use both of them so you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 and you have 1 plus 1 here so there are three ways to go to school and two ways to come back and because there is an and here we multiply 3 times 2 that's 6 so there are total 6 ways to finish the round trip think about the multiplication sign as multiplying the number of possibilities for you the more options you have for each route the more possible combinations you'll get If there were ten different ways to go to school and ten different ways to come back, you would have hundred different ways to finish the round trip. 
and this right here is called the fundamental principle of counting what it says is if you have a job and there are two parts of the job and you have to finish both of them you multiply the number of options for both of them to get the total number of ways to finish the job all right enough with the school now let's go to a party and if you want to go to a party you would want to get dressed so here are your options you can have these six t-shirts you can pick any one of them you can have these four pants you can pick any one of them you have these three pair of boots and why not you have these two crowns so you have to pick a crown a t-shirt a pant and a pair of shoes how many total ways to get dressed to the party think about it let's look at them one by one you have two ways to pick a crown you can pick either of them you have six ways to pick a t-shirt four ways to pick a pant and three ways to pick a pair of shoes and because you have to do all of them there's and here you have to pick a crown and you have to pick a t-shirt and you have to pick a pant and you have to pick a pair of shoes and this is giving us so many options to mix and match so many possibilities so because there's and we multiply so we have 2 times 6 times 4 times 3 2 times 6 is 12 4 times 3 is also 12 12 square is 144 so there are 144 different ways to get dressed to the party by the time we are dressed the party will be already over and if you're thinking where's the word or in the picture this is where it is or is between these two crowns or is here between these t-shirts or is here for the pants and or is here for the shoes you can pick this shoe or this shoe or this shoe you can pick this crown or this crown this is how you're getting these values and and is helping us find the final value all right back to school here's one option you can take one of these three cars here's another one you can take the bike here's one more close to your home there's a bus stop and you can either walk to the bus stop or you can take the bike and from this bus stop, there are actually three buses that go to your school. So these three buses go from this bus stop to the school. And why stop here? There's one more way to go from your home to your school, and that's called taking the school bus. So here's the map of everything that's going on. Figure out how many ways to go from home to school. All right, let's do this together. There are these four different routes that you can see. There's this car route, this bicycle route, the school bus route and the bus stop route. You can pick any of these four routes and you can reach the school. So you can take the first route or you can take the second one or the third one or the fourth one. In the first one, you have a bus stop. You don't want to be at the bus stop. You want to be at the school. So you have to go from your home to your bus stop and you have to take the bus from your bus stop to the school. So in this route, you have to do this thing and this thing. You have to reach the bus stop and you have to go from bus stop to school. There are two options here. You can walk or you can take the bike. There are three options here. You can take this bus or this bus or this bus. And here as well, you can take this car or this car or this car. Not a lot of options here. Not a lot of options here. So summing it all up, you have two ways here and you have three ways here. Two and three means multiplication. So two times three is six. There are six ways for this route. There are three ways for this one. There's one way here and there's one way here. And because you can pick any one of these, six plus three plus one plus one. So nine and one 10 and one 11. So there are 11 different ways to go from home to school. Now you don't want to stay at school. You would want to come back. So in the same scenario, imagine that things work in both directions. This bus goes from home to school and then you can take the bus back as well. Everything works in both directions. How many ways to make the round trip? Pause the video, think about it. So if everything works the same way in both directions, you have 11 ways to go from home to school and you have 11 different ways to come back home as well. And because you have to do both, you want to go to school and you want to come back home, the answer will be 11 and 11, which means 11 times 11. That means we have 121 ways to make this round trip possible. 